Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to use a geometric picture to derive a formula for sine alpha plus beta. And I'm actually going to give you the formula and then we're going to prove it. So the formula is sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus, uh, let's see, sine of beta times cosine of alpha. And in a previous video, I already derived this formula using a algebraic approach. And you can find that derivation from the cards right now, also from the descriptions part. Now, that derivation was cool, and it was the standard way. I first derived a formula for cosine alpha plus beta, then uh, used cofunction relations to arrive at sine alpha plus beta. But today, we will use a very clever picture. Let me give you the picture and then maybe you can stop and try to figure it out on your own. So the picture is as follows. We have our triangle, a triangle. And not just a triangle. This is a special triangle. This is a right triangle. You know, triangles are not always right, but they are never wrong. And this is one of the right guys. So this is alpha. And we will draw another triangle. We are the artist here, so we decide on what we will do. We have another triangle, and surprise, surprise, this is another right one. And this time, this angle is going to be beta. Okay? Now, I am going to draw sort of a, a boundary to this picture, and it will be very helpful. Trust me. So, okay, let me do that. I will draw these lines. In a sense, this is like the frame of our picture. This is completing to a rectangle. Okay. And we have this. Now, I will give you this length as L. Here you have enough information to be able to prove this statement. So you might want to stop the video, take a few minutes. And when you're ready, let's get started. So... I assume you stop the video or just want to see the derivation. In that case, let's start. I will first, I will first try to understand what sine of alpha plus beta uh, can be found. How can we find it in this equation, in this picture? I mean, well, notice this. If I were to draw a blue line like this, this blue line would be equal in length with this. And of course, this side as well. So, and also since we have, and oh, by the way, this is a right angle. This is important. And as you can see, we have a right triangle here that looks like this. So using right triangle trigonometry, we know that this blue line, thus this side is going to be equal to L uh, sine of alpha plus beta. Okay, because this uh, side is the opposite side and the hypotenuse is L. So mu we multiply L with sine of alpha plus beta to get the length of the side. All right, we got this. Now, here comes another idea. And, well, should I keep it? Let's keep it. We don't need to erase anything. Let's do it with green this time. So this side. And oh, do we need it? Yes, we do need it. So what can we say about this? Well, this is the adjacent side. So it is going to be, let me write it here maybe, taking a arrow like that. It is going to be cosine of, not, let's not write cosine. It is going to be L, that's not an L. It is L times cosine of beta because I focused on this triangle. Okay, so far so good. Now, what about what about this one? Um, this one. Well, it is the opposite side, so it is simply L times sine of beta. Here we can now express which one do I want to express? I want to express this side. The hypotenuse is L times cosine of beta, and this is the opposite sign. 
in the alpha triangle, so we put sine of alpha. All right. Here we only want we are only left with one other side that we want to find, and then we will be very close to the end. And that side is you perhaps guessed it is this side. And we are, I mean, we can kind of see that we might be able to find it because we have the length of the hypotenuse. It is L sine of beta. But in this little triangle, we don't have any angle. I mean, how can we find an angle? Is it possible? And in fact, it is. Because look at this. We have alpha 90 degrees. So this angle is going to be alpha I mean, uh, it is going to be 90 degrees minus alpha. And since we have another 90 degrees here, this angle will be alpha. Okay? And if you don't believe me, well, just add these guys. We have alpha plus 90 degrees plus the orange angle, which is 90 degrees minus alpha. So we get 180 degrees, which is great because we were adding the angles uh, for a line, right? It was uh, these three should have add up to a hundred, a hundred and eighty degrees. So using that idea, then using this new angle alpha, we can say that this length is L times sine of beta. This is the length of the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent sine, adjacent sine, adjacent side. I mean, <laughs> excuse me. This is the adjacent side to alpha so we put cosine of alpha and look at this look at this this side is this and this side is this geometrically we can see that when we add these two we should get what is on the left this so let's do that let's do that then we have l sine of beta times cosine of alpha plus L cosine of beta times sine of alpha is equal to L times sine of alpha plus beta. And L's here cancel. Look at this. Great. And it is nice that, it, that it L cancels because it was completely arbitrary for our, for our derivation. L could have been any length. We didn't care at all. And it is cancelled. And actually, we are done because look at this. I mean, it is reversed in the order, but we have sine of alpha plus beta being equal to cosine of beta times sine of alpha. It is the first term here. And then we have sine of beta cosine of alpha, which is the second term here. So we, in fact, derive the formula for sine of alpha plus beta. I mean, I need to admit that without being... Uh, without having the picture already, it might be very hard to come up with the picture. I mean, how would you really come up with it? And I don't really have a definite answer for it. And if anyone have an idea of how to systematically draw, uh, s uh, draw drawings, draw geometrical shapes to be, er to be able to prove these kinds of uh, trigonometric identities, I would love to hear that. So if you have any suggestions, please write them in the comment section. But this is just one way. Of course, we have the classic way, which you can access from the descriptions part. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.